Go on, Mum, tell them. OK, um, last year I, I met a wonderful man. His name was Clint and, um, well, we fell in love and we got married. What? <laughs> in the Alps whilst you and Susan were looking after Holly. Well, why didn't you tell us? It was too painful. It, it only lasted a day. Oh, right. Well, probably shouldn't have rushed into it then. Clint died. I'm a widow. He, um, he fell ill when we were in France and it came as a complete shock. He was so healthy and vigorous. I mean, he had the energy of someone a third of his age. Well, what age was that? 89, but everyone said that he looked like he was in his 70s. Um, time was running out, so he proposed and we got married and, and he passed away in my arms. It must have been awful for you. Mm. Oh, this is a small consolation, but without giving away specifics, I can say that he died with a smile on his face. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you're on bereavement leave, I guess? Well, um, yeah, Clint left me with a little something so I don't have to work for a while. Oh. Right, so I assume Clint was financially comfortable? Yeah, he had many, many good qualities. Sure. You know, I'll, I'll always help out money-wise with Holly. Yeah, I know. I, I do. I'm fine. Yeah, well, hang on, are you sure? Because the cost of living is rising rapidly, isn't it, darling? Yeah? Clint left me with 41 million pounds. <laughs> but I'd give it all back just to have one more day with him.